Hi everybody, Dave Altavilla for HotHardware.com here with the Dell Alienware M14X 14-inch gaming notebook. Make sure you stop by our site for the full review with all the benchmark details. But here's a quick take look at the machine and what you get with the bundle. First, you get this rather stout AC adapter power brick with uh, blue lighting accents around the power plug as well as a rubber gathering clasp for keeping your cords safe and tidy. Um, you also get a standard Alienware literature pack as well as driver resource DVD and a copy of Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit. And the machine is also kept in this nice felt pouch for keeping your M14X safe and tidy. And here's a look at the machine. This is based on an Intel Core i7-2630QM quad-core processor with hyper-threading for eight threads of available processing resources at a default clock speed of 2 gigahertz with turbo boost up to 2.9 gigahertz. It's also based on NVIDIA's GeForce GT 550M mobile graphics processor. Let's take a look around at the M14X and see what it's made of. Now our Alienware M14X was based on a rather glossy 14 inch but very crisp and sharp LED backlit display with a native resolution of 1600 by 900. Lower cost display options are available as well with a 14 inch panel that has a native resolution of 1366 by 768 if you want to save a few bucks. But we really like the display again a little bit on the glossy side but very sharp high resolution with good color contrast and brightness. As you can see the machine is adorned in bling and actually if you fire up the Alien FX control panel here you'll see that there are actually nine zones, nine lighting zones that you can adjust to different colors visible here on this color wheel uh, for each individual zone. So we can go ahead and let's play around with that a little bit and look at zone five and we'll make that blue. That should be a keyboard zone as you can see. That just switched right there. Let's go to zone four. Again, this is in the Alien FX control panel. Uh, a little bit of software that Alienware bundles in and as you can see as we go along the keyboard here we are making each of the zones, the four zones on the keyboard area blue and so some nice customization and uh, you have again choices from all of the colors in that color wheel and again nine different zones. You can change the logo color, the trackpad box color and uh, the keyboard box color as well as you can see the lighting in the grill area. And by the way, this is not a vented grill. It's actually uh, a closed uh, sort of grill that uh, doesn't actually provide any venting for the system. But again, very sharp presentation, rubberized coating all around, super nice fit and finish and build quality. And at six and a half pounds, it's a fairly heavy but sturdy machine for a 14 inch notebook. Definitely not something you're gonna trip through airports easily with, but still a portable machine nonetheless for a 14 inch notebook by Alienware Dell. And taking a closer look at the keyboard area of the M14, actually you can see there's a nice roomy standard key layout with these shaped keycaps that provide a very comfortable typing experience. Actually, one of the more comfortable keyboards we've ever put our hands on for a 14 inch machine for sure. Um, all backlit keys, as you can see, we'll douse the lights and show you that. So each individual keycap is illuminated. And again, we've got the alien effects zones set to red here. So you've got a number of different colors you can pick. But again, a very nice keyboard area with some special function keys for turning on and off alien effects, uh, turning on and off the Wi-Fi radios, even turning on and off the touchpad. Um, and enabling or disabling that. You do have a very large touchpad area with uh, two button mouse control as well. And focusing in on some of the styling elements that are common to the Alienware lineup, here below the illuminated Alienware logo on the bottom of the screen, you've got the Alien head, which serves as a power button for the system, as well as hard drive status indicator light. As you can see, the Alien's eyes blink whenever there's hard drive activity. So some nice additional styling uh, cues and uh, bling, if you will, for the M14X. Again, very common across the entire Alienware product line for their notebooks. And taking a close look in here at the top edge of the M14X's display, you've got a two megapixel HD video and still camera with dual stereo array microphones. And continuing our walk around the M14X here on the lid area of the machine, again, that flat black rubberized coating that does a nice job of resisting fingerprints. Another Alienware head right up here up top, but uh, is not illuminated. On the left edge of the machine, you've got a VGA output port, HDMI 1.4, mini display port, 
USB 2.0, microphone line in, and a pair of headphone jacks right there, as well as a 9-in-1 flash card reader. Here on the back side of the M14X, the entire edge is beveled down and in towards the bottom of the machine. Really minimizes the um, footprint of the machine in the back and also actually provides a really nice edgy sort of styling cue. Here you've got a vent and a dual hinge that's very sturdy and solid feeling as well as the power jack location right there. And on the right edge of the M14X is a Kensington lock port, a gigabit ethernet port, and a pair of USB 3.0 ports, super speed 3.0, so nice to see that in there, as well as a slot load 8X super multi DVD RW drive. And though typically we don't spend a ton of time discussing what's on the bottom of most notebooks, we do feel the M14X does merit a bit of discussion of what's going on here underneath. You get two large vent areas that do emit a bit of heat under heavy duty workloads or gaming conditions. Um, nothing that we would say is excessive, but uh, that does get warm here. You've also got a custom engraving uh, plate that can be etched at the factory and customized with your name, your nickname, your gamer tag, your clan tag, what have you. And uh, again, that's a little bit of customization uh, afforded by the folks at Alienware. And up top here is a small speaker port for the Klipsch speaker system uh, center channel. It's actually really nice, adds a bit of uh, spatial effect. This is a 2.1 Klipsch speaker system on board. We would also finally point out that the eight cell battery on board, the M14X, as you can see, is not user serviceable. There are no doors or latches to give you access to the battery here. It is not user serviceable. And finally, here's a look at the M14X doing what it does best. We have Far Cry 2 fired up here, the benchmark, and we have it running in DX10 mode with a native resolution of the panel set of 1600 by 900, as well as 2x anti-aliasing and high image quality for all of the rendering effects. And uh, you'll note that the frame rate here is actually going to stay north of about 47 frames per second to be exact, which is impressive actually for this game test and its uh, graphics intensive workload. Uh, DX10 again, and uh, for the NVIDIA GeForce GT 550M mobile graphics chip under the hood of the M14X, actually some really good performance. You'll also note that the Klipsch speaker system in the M14X is also actually very loud and very full. There's actually some really nice spatial effects that are created with the uh, Klipsch speaker system in this notebook. And one of the nicest sounding uh, speaker systems we've ever, ever heard in a 14-inch machine, actually. However, um, it is drowned out a little bit by the fan noise of the M14X. A little bit of an audible whine is emitted under most heavy-duty gaming conditions with this machine. There's just no getting around uh, trying to keep that GPU cooled. But again, impressive performance. Again, north of 47 frames per second with high image quality and DX10 at 16x9 resolution with... Um, 2x anti-aliasing. You really can't complain about that. So this has been a quick take look at Alienware's M14X gaming notebook. I'm Dave Altavilla for HotHardware.com. Make sure you stop by our site for the full review with all the benchmark details and analysis. Thanks again for stopping by.